one of the things that makes it just really comfortable for me is that this is just organic. This is just what happened. 20 years of this is just what happened. And a lot of times you don't have that opportunity. I've had visitors and other artists, traveling artists and stuff, describe this as their dream, uncurated, anarchistic street art graffiti museum. Tattooed mom had this giant space and we got upstairs and we were like, whoa, this is giant and we have no more money. So we had a lot of blank walls, a lot of space. We both had lived in places like this, band houses, squats. So it was just sort of comfortable to allow that to happen. Little by little, tag by tag, sticker by sticker, wheat paste by wheat paste. It turned into the layers and layers layers and layers of things that you see up here. Like people who are iconic now in the, especially the Philly sticker art world and who have gone on to much huger and amazing things like Nosego was part of an original crew of sticker artists, which included Underwater Pirate, Bob Rain, El Toro, and those guys were putting up work in here uh, in the early days and continue to, to this day. Even early people like Shepard Ferry, who you'll see in the museum now, was coming down to Philly and putting up illegal work on the street. And he'd come by here with his skater friends and put stuff up here too. Legendary graffiti artists would do the same thing. They just were here anyway. They were here drinking beers. They weren't here necessarily to put art. This space that you see here has a big Joe Borchow piece underneath it and another cool uh, heavy slime series underneath that. Uh, and, but what people don't realize or may or may not realize is that behind this, there's probably 30 other layers, sometimes of large scale paintings or pieces, sometimes of just mishmashes of a lot of smaller pieces underneath there. And you know, one of the things that some artists love about putting up a big new piece is to see how other people interact with it, how it gets slowly by slowly by slowly added to through tags and stickers and wheat paste and other people adding or commenting in some way or remixing their piece in some way. There's a couple of, several pieces by a, a fairly newer artist named Hope Hummingbird. And she does these quite delicate ceramic hand fired pieces. This is a series of historic women, vaudeville, political writers, who were doing things that were really pushing the boundaries for women in the early 20th century. Many of them are you know, sort of almost forgotten history through a very sort of delicate, fragile uh, medium. It's, it's awesome to see uh, you know, people experimenting with mediums here. Uh, we'll also see people uh, playing around with uh, how to best install things. Uh, what works here before they take it out onto the street. So they may, you know, I've had artists say, this is my playground. I get to come in here, I get to try out things, I get to try out ideas and see what works before I take it out to the street. I had been coming in like as a patron, you know, to put up stickers and write my name places just because this place kind of offers that like freedom of expression for street artists. And uh, I mean all artists, it's not just street artists, there's fine artists that put up stuff in here too, which is rad. But just like having a place to come, uh, just definitely like makes a big sense of community here. A lot of different artists meet here. People come from out of town to meet other Philadelphia artists, which is like really rad. I don't know, I just feel like this, is one of the only places in the city that does that. It's one of the only bars that I've been in and multiple cities that do that. I think it's really awesome of Robert to actually give us that freedom. We reach out to so many different kinds of communities in the art world, skateboarding world, performing arts, writers, advocates for all kinds of political things. People don't know it. We do baby showers here all the time. We do like, you know, wedding after parties and we celebrate all kinds of crazy and amazingly meaningful moments in people's lives. Having been here for so long, a lot of people sort of came of age here, you know, and discovered themselves within these walls, actually. 
people talk about safe spaces all the time, but I take that seriously. And I think that it's important these days to make a stand and say that you are one of those places. You are a safe place where all kinds of people can come and express themselves. Mm -hmm.